The team from Air 2, a specialist company of power line workers, are carrying out critical maintenance work on some of the most dangerous lines in the world. Working at over 100 feet in the air, on live wires, at a massive 500,000 volts, they're about to ramp up the risk one more notch by adding water. This is, in my opinion, the most dangerous thing that Air 2 performs. It is, without a doubt, incredibly risky. There's a build-up of bird droppings on the V-shaped insulators. These contaminants can cause a major electrical fault and must be cleaned off. Uh, we are still on the Kyoto West Memphis 500 kV line. We tested everything in the tank, in the trailer, in the tank, on the helicopter, and coming out of the boom, water tested good, we're ready to wash. For such high-risk work, Jono needs an experienced hand. When I first went up and washed my first structure, which was probably about four years ago, I was, I was a little nervous. But uh, you got to do what you've been trained to do and get her done. If you don't get a little scared, then you've got problems. You're going to get hurt. We've modified the helicopter from its normal configuration to a wash rig configuration. It consists of a 3,500 horsepower high pressure pump. Under the belly is a 300 liter water tank. The tank will contain enough water to allow us to wash at full power for around 10 to 15 minutes. On the other side of the helicopter is an 18 foot insulated washing boom. It is extremely powerful, it'll clean paint off if it needs to. For this work, known as hot washing, it's vital that the water they use is completely pure. Should we ever get contaminated water in the water system, the consequences could be disastrous for us. It would immediately make that water conductive. On a 500 kV system, it will produce a fireball in the region of about 20 feet across. Hot washing for me, every time I go in, I make sure that everything is absolutely 100% as safe as we can make it before we even attempt it. And if there's anything that I don't like or I don't feel sure about, I'm done. It is extremely counterintuitive to be spraying water on a power line. In fact, most people, when you tell them what we're doing, think we're insane. Most countries don't allow you to even put a power socket in a bathroom. And here we are spraying water at high pressure over the insulators of a 500,000 volt power line. Okay, this one we're going inside. Okay. For Jono and Charlie, absolute concentration is critical. The lineman and the pilot work incredibly closely. The lineman is constantly watching where the blades are and where the tail is. All the parts of the helicopter that the pilot can't see, the lineman will be having eyes on to keep us out of trouble. It puts a lot of strain on both of us when we do it, and you're constantly having to plan for the next potential emergency. OK, we're out of water. We're heading back in. All right, that'll be that then, eh? OK. <laughs> Mission accomplished for Jono and Charlie.